It's two yeah. different Americas. No, it's yeah. like four different Americas. I was getting ready to say it might be more than that. It's I mean, like four different Americas. Right now, to me, it looks like it's um, what it was. super progressive and super conservative. Everybody is like doubling down on their values now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so in those conservative being, towns mm-hmm. or cities or states, they like, we ain't going to allow Certain that things, progressive yeah. shit over here. Right. To infiltrate over here, so much so, and, and then, then we gonna put different barriers yeah, up, and then they like over here on the progressive, well, on the left side, we're the progressive side, your face. we we gonna do everything in our power to combat what y'all got going mm-hmm. on, but we are not gonna allow what y'all got going on to infiltrate over here. Right. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So it's just you got the I see what you mean by two different Americans. You got yeah. the hybrids too. You got the ones that are kind of conservative, but still. A little progressive, and then you got the ones that's a little bit progressive, progressive, but a little bit conservative. Yeah, I know a lot too. of people that's on the edge of conservatism, but since conservatism is associated with racism, racism they be like, nah. like, nah, I'm I'm over here. Yeah, well, y'all forgetting like, y'all forgetting the thing that has always separated the country: rich that? and poor. Yeah, and you, but, and you can't eliminate those things because they can coexist. Which is why I said four different Americas. Yeah, I mean, it's a, di- it's that's like, a dynamic. It's like, it's like a within, quadrant, you know what I'm saying? You remember those Venn diagrams we used to have to... I don't know, because you still got rich and poor people that are conservative. Well, that's my point. So, so you can have a poor person who's... I think what they're trying or, to get... Or, I think what they I think ultimately what they're trying to get it to is progressive to the point where um, they eliminate the middle class. And hmm. when it gets to the point where that happens, it's going to be a socialist or a communist society where... Everybody that's not rich gets the same portions. Yeah. And everybody that's rich gets to have whatever they Every, want. Everybody gets a trophy. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what they wanted to get to, where it's just rich and poor, you know, in between. But right now, like like John said, we got the super conservative and the people that's like, eh, I ain't really with all that. Then you got the super progressive and you got the people on the progressive side, that's, I ain't really with all that either. Yeah. Like, because the people that's, on the progressive side, that's not really progressive. They don't really like all that stuff that they doing. That's super duper progressive evil. Mm-mm. So they, they like, Mm-mm. man, they like right, this is too much. Yeah. So I was telling one of my buddies today. I was like, man, there's so many people that are like you that aid and abet this progressive agenda just because y'all have some type of built-in fear about. Racism. It's like what the progressive people are doing to this country, they're pretty much destroying this. The joint. fabrics. Like I found a video from um mm-hmm. from uh Nixon out of all people, a very racist dude. Mm-hmm. And he was talking <clears throat> about a certain community um being advertised on television and he said how detrimental it is for a country to promote that lifestyle. Oh, to the masses. Mm-hmm. And he was like, Rome fell because of that. He was like, he was naming all these societies that fell because of this particular lifestyle mm-hmm. that has been pushed to the forefront. Mm-hmm. And you can see what's <clears throat> happening, what has happened since 2008 to our country. <laughs> but to your point, but to your point, those same people that kind of aid and abet the progressive stuff would take what you just said and be like, so you're going to use Nixon to help support you? Exactly. Right. Based on his, exactly. you know, so. Exactly. Or, or Trump, for that matter, or yeah. any anybody that's on the far right, or so to speak, in their eyes, that's, that's considered racist. And, and Nixon was racist. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to hold it. I mean, there are a lot of people that are racist that maybe y'all just ain't figured it out yet. But, I mean. Yeah. There's a lot of people on the far oh, left that's racist, racist too. <laughs> Hello. You know what I'm saying? But they... They use they use they they use that whole sly foxness with their uh, with their uh, with their conniving ability to to act like they're <laughs> your friend. They'll what, smile. Pun but, intended. Yeah. What, what, ah. what Chris Rock said? Chris Rock said uh, Republic, Republicans are just flat out liars, and Democrats uh, <laughs> they leave out key points about the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Malcolm X said... <laughs> well, in the same way. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah, they go about it. Right, yeah, right, right, Malcolm X right. said, uh, Democrats, you think they're smiling because they're showing their teeth, but really, they right, they trying right, to eat you too. Right, they trying to eat you too. Yeah, <laughs> you know fact. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so you fact. know, I, I've always been somebody who 
would rather deal with somebody if I knew who they What's were. What's going on up front? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like if I knew you were racist, cool. We could we could be cordial. Yeah, because I know what time it is. We could avoid each other, and I, and, and I know what I can't do right. too. Exactly. I know right. what to expect, and I stay away, and you stay away from me, and we could live our happy lives separately. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But uh, the people who act like they my friend and they really not. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, everything is everything is to. I don't know, man. Everybody wants their palms greased and their back scratched. And I think whatever, by any means necessary, the people in power, that's what they want to do, and they don't really care what happens to the country, or the state of the country, or the direction of the country. Because, I mean, in their eyes, I we, think they do as long as it's beneficial to them. To whatever their mission is. Yeah, to their cause. Everybody got a mission mm -hmm. at the end of the day. And a lot of times, these people that we put in power over us by our votes, their mission is, is twofold. Allegedly. Um, their, vision, their mission, of course, most of the time is to, just like our everyday mission, put food on the table, keep a roof over our heads. And, you know, if we can get more, let's get more money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The other mission is they got somebody to answer to. And they say, hey, I want this aqua pan of water to be pushed to the forefront of society. Hey, I want to everybody Aquapana. to drink that aqua pan of water. I shout out to aqua pan of y'all. And you put policies in place to make everybody drink something. the aqua pan of water. Some sort of sponsorship. And you'll be shouting y'all out. And you'll, be, and you'll benefit. <laughs> aqua pan of water could be some devilish type of shit. You understand? So yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, just like look now though, look at where our country is now. Like everybody's saying, everybody's abandoning the dollar now. Like, what you mean? Nobody oh, is trading with well, oh. nobody, but mm -hmm. a whole bunch of countries are saying, "All right, we're not going to use the U.S. dollar US anymore stuff. to trade." Yeah, they're like treating us like we like central currency. China. Central currency. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they moving over to the yen, the or yen, yen, or whatever the yen, yen, yen. 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 Oh. I think it's a yen. Yeah. I wonder why they doing that. Because the new power is about to be in place. Yeah, that's power what, that's, that's, that that's, mean, that's what you would like for them to... Something power. I don't really care about the power, to be honest with you. I don't care about the power. I just care about how the country's running. That's that's what determines how the country's running, who's yeah. in power. Yeah. I mean, kind of. I mean... When they start coming to you like, man, what you really do doesn't matter. You're going to get this portion regardless. Right. Then it's going to be like, man, hold on. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And your opportunities and start to dwindle. If they start to set the stage with 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 that country, China, man. Yeah. They got a lot going on that we as Americans don't have to are not accustomed to. Right. No. Nah, and we and I don't think we most want time that. We don't want it, and yeah. we ain't gonna deal with it. You understand? And, and, and it directly opposes. You know the the fabric, like y'all said, uh, this, of what's this supposed country. to be the fabric. Yeah. yeah. Do you want a revolution? <laughs> I said, do you want a revolution? Very Kurt Franklin. Come on. <laughs>